What's going on, y'all? It's your girl, Miss J. I keep telling y'all we outside. We getting these exclusive interviews with a Wesley Christmas. All the actors have come through. And I am now being joined by Kevin Savage and Sydney Mitchell. Thank you guys so much for your time. I'm so excited. Absolutely. So, I've seen the trailer of the movie. You play Janelle in the movie, and you play Chris. You guys are in-laws. Yes. Can y'all give us a little insight about the movie, the family drama that goes on? Because you know, when there's big family gatherings during the holidays, it's always something. <laughs> yes, so um, I play Janelle, as you said, and we are brother and sister-in-law. Um, I am the wife to Todd Wesley, who is his younger brother. Okay. And um, Janelle is a girl that wants what she wants. And Todd is not getting it quick enough for her. Mm. Um, I was saying in, in an interview yesterday, some people call it gold digger. I would beg to differ. Okay. But <laughs> Look, the girl knows what she wants. She knows what she wants, but he take it too long. So, um, so yeah, but like you said, there are so many different dynamics in the story um, that are all about the family, but you have Kevin and his wife, you have Mantarell, you have Lauren and her drama with guys. You have so many things that makes it such a unique Christmas movie. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we're talking about the holidays. I've been doing speed, speed rounds with everybody else. I'm going to do a quick one with you guys just to see where you are, what's going to be on your table for Thanksgiving. Okay. Let's do it. So do we do ham or are we doing a deep fried turkey? I'm a ham girl. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. So originally it would be ham, but I'm trying to get away from the pork thing. Yeah, so I hear you. Deep yeah. fried. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. mine is like. I've literally said I'm not eating any pork anymore except for ham. On except for ham. Yeah. What about bacon? And bacon. Okay. Okay. Let's move on to exceptions. Okay. They are hard to break away from. All right. What about macaroni, cheese, and sweet potatoes? Oh. Yeah. Like, how do you? Yeah. How's that a choice? I always eat them together. Yeah, I Look, right. I was trying to see if y'all choose one or the other. Right. 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 Yeah. Do you make your macaroni cheese with eggs? Yes, I do. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I don't make it. <laughs> you just eat I, it. I got, I got a sister that's my, my twin. She, she's really, really good at it. Okay. So, like, she, I, I think she uses eggs. Okay. Green beans or collard greens? Collard greens. Collard greens. Hey. Collard greens all day. But I like green, green bean casserole, too. Really? That's pretty good. I've had it. No, 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 I've had it. It's good. Mm -hmm. No. That's you got to try it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, I was trying not to say what you put it out the air. Yeah, no, I, 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 people say that all the time. <laughs> I like a nice sautéed green bean, though. Okay, now see, I can do that. Up in there, you yeah, know, some yeah, garlic, yes, yeah, yeah. have a nice yeah, olive oil. Yes, now yeah. nah, I can do that yeah. if it's right. flavorful. Yeah. All right, what about pound cake or peach cobbler? Peach cobbler. Oh, y'all said that with all that energy and emphasis behind it, okay? Peach cobbler, I think it's really good, but that peach cobbler, man, mm. God, especially when it comes straight different. from the oven. Yes. Y'all yes. yeah, so, ice cream? Yes. Yeah. 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 Y
That was one of the most fun things about working with everybody. Um, and then, you know, Bree and Chuck, they talked about that, the, you know, review of premiere um, in DC. They said, um, you know, one of the things about the cast is they prayed about it, mm -hmm. you know, and so God kind of like strategically put everybody where they needed to be because once we got on set, you know, the family dynamics was crazy. Like the energy was like we had done it like five other times. Yeah. Wow. And um, Chuck and Bree, quick story, you know, I met them about, about eight or nine years ago here in Atlanta. I just moved here. Um, and I was at an event, and I something told me to talk to these guys, mm -hmm. right? Um, and so I'm talking to them, and you know, I bought them like a, I think a glass of wine or something like that. I said, I'm gonna work with you guys one day. They said, All right, cool, young man. It's that power man. Eight years later, eight, eight years <laughs> later, they give me a call like, uh, Remember we said we wanna work together? I said, Yeah. They said it's about that time. Wow. So you know, shout out to them because they kept their word. If you don't have yeah. your word, you don't have anything. Yeah. So for them to remember me, yeah. and I didn't know that I was investing into my future. Right. So don't be scared right. to invest in the future. Yes. Y'all yeah. heard that right here right. first. Don't just call me in South Atlanta, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So talking about projects, you guys have both been in TV and film for a very long time. Mm -hmm. Tell us about some of the projects that you guys are currently working on or have coming up for 2023. So, um, of course, Wesley Christmas, uh, we're actually shooting another one, so we're excited about that. We heard y'all got two more coming yeah, after yeah, this. Yeah, yes, that's more, exciting. More. Um, but uh, recently, about a, about a year and a half ago, I shot um, Insecure. Okay, so, yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, so that was dope. Shout out um, to, to, to the cast. Um, and I'm actually working on Hush as well with Chuck and Bree. Okay. Um, that's, that's, you know, being done. But I've done some amazing things, you know, House of Cards, uh, The Quad. Um, I mean, so many projects, um, the Underground Railroad, uh, Barry Jenkins. So I'm just blessed to, you know, continue to work. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we got a story to tell that's coming out on um, BET as well. Um, shout out to my boy Lim over there and Smooth Productions. Um, got to work with some some dope people, Delicious, Young Jock. So that's coming out soon. I'm um, just blessed. Yes. Just blessed. Right. You better say that. Right. Okay. <laughs> Um, so I actually worked on a film with Smooth as well. Um, it's called Under the Influence, and that'll be coming out in February. Okay. It's my first lead, and it's an action role, so I'm okay. excited about that. It's action so comedy. Yes. yes, it's way different. Um, so that was great. And then we also just finished filming BMF season two. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's coming out in January. It's juicy. Y'all just it's making <laughs> big moves, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's a lot, of, a lot of good drama with that one, too. Yes. So I'm excited okay. about that. Uh -huh. I said, I'm so sorry. It's, there's one more project that we were talking about. Look at busy, y'all. That I shot. Uh, shout out to um, Denise Boutte. Uh, you know, we shot a project um, that's going to be crazy in LA for about three weeks. It's called Game of Deceit. It's about three weeks shoot, and we killed it. So that's my first lead role as well. Yes, yes. Um, so that's coming out next year. So you know, it's it's just amazing. It's amazing to see like where you started, right? right? Like and, and to see the progression, yes. and just be humbled about it. Yeah, right. You know? right. Yeah. And like really, just like trust in the process because I feel like. Yeah. There are so many times where like, I want that, I want that. And now yeah. that I'm seeing why it took so long, I'm like, oh, I, I needed to be yeah, ready that's for that's it. Ready. You know? yeah, right. Yeah, right. 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 Wasn't ready to receive mm. it. So. All right, one more last question before you guys get out of here. When our viewers watch this movie, what do you want them to take away from it? Um, I want them to take away um, a few things I've touched on in the past. Number one, forgiveness. Right. Um, that it's so important to forgive your family. And no matter what the consequences are, no matter what you guys are going through, to really just, you know, be able to overlook it. And I know that's easier said than done, but if you can, if you're able to put it to the side, be able to, because life is short. Absolutely. And then also, um, you know, they touch on mental health in the movie, and I feel like that's really, really important because we don't talk about it in the, in the black community. Mm -hmm. And um, TC said it the other day, and he really made me think about it. I've been thinking about it a lot, about how, you know, you have that cousin or that uncle or that family member that might be a little weird or right, different. Right. And, you know, take the time to ask why and mm -hmm. see what's going on with them this holiday, you know, yes. because you never know. So you'll see some of that in the movie. Okay. Mm -hmm. And like Sydney said, forgiveness is like there's so many family members going through so much, mm -hmm. right? I mean, you got uncles, cousins, brothers that aren't talking to each other, right? Yeah. Um, feuding and stuff. So, you know, forgiveness is so, so important. And, and the way that you, you get through is going through. Mm -hmm. Right, so I would say make that phone call, be the first. Because for me, honestly, for so long, you know, if, if I felt like somebody did me wrong, family, friends, whatever, I'm not making the first phone call. Hello. But life is so short, 
I mean, yes, we yeah. see people dying every day. You know, there's a there's a crazy situation where rappers are dying every day. Right. Right. Just people like yeah. that you would never think would. So that can happen to you right. or anybody that you know. Right. So I would say, you know, make that phone call. Make, make you know, if you got some beef or something, whatever, family, whatever, make that phone call because nine out of ten, God will bless you for that. Yeah, right. And it's usually petty, small stuff it's that can be small stuff. Work yeah. out, yeah. so we can yeah. work it out. Yeah. All right, tell our viewers how they can follow y'all and stay up to date with everything that y'all got going on. Cause y'all look too busy, okay? <laughs> look busy and blessed. Put right. that on the t-shirt, okay? Right, right. <laughs> hey. Yes, I love it. Hey. You can follow me on Instagram. It's Sydney Mitchell Official on Twitter. Sydney M Official. Follow me on Instagram, Kevin Savage Brand B R A N D, and also Facebook, Kevin Savage. All right, y'all heard it first here. Thank you guys for your time. We wish you nothing but continued success. We're excited to see this film because y'all is going to be great. Okay, we are speaking into existence. There's two more parts coming to it, but make sure you check out the first one on Thanksgiving with all of your family, your friends, their friends, their family, and whoever else Everybody. wants to watch it, okay? It's on BT Plus, so make sure y'all stream it. Thank you guys again, and make sure you are following Juicy Pop TV and Insta Atlanta and me, M-I-S-S, Jordan underscore radio. Talk to y'all later.